Welcome to Bourbon Mania 2. Tonight we crown a champion on the Pop 'em, Don't Watch 'em YouTube show. The 2021 Blind Bracket Challenge has come to the end of the road for Bourbon. The main event, the Bourbon of the Year for 2021. We started out with 25 bourbons, five regions of five. Here we are in the final with seven contenders. Last year there were six in the final. This year seven came through to crown a winner. And boy, absolute hitters. There are going to be no losers in this final, guys. I'm going to tell you that right now. But only one can take home the gold. Big thank you to every single subscriber, every view. Guys, can't thank you enough. Please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. Got to beat that YouTube algorithm. That's the only way to do it. Also, a huge thank you to all my patrons over on Patreon. A winner this month, there are going to be two winners. Every month I give away a sample pack to a winner. This month is going to be two winners. The first winner is going to get a sample pack of this flight, the championship bourbon flight. And the number two winner is going to get a choice of the rye final or the finished whiskey final. So you still got time if you want to go over on Patreon, become a patron, $10 tier, get you in on every giveaway that I've done. Guys, follow me on Instagram, pop them underscore, don't underscore, watch them. That is where I do most of my cigar reviews. Definitely going to do some more cigar stuff in 2022. Also, a big, big, huge thank you and shout out to all the local stores, River Bend Market in Madisonville, Louisiana, Martin Wine Cellar in Mandeville, l and Package Store in Gulfport, Mississippi, and the man Jonathan Maisano over at Maisano's Fine Wine and Spirits in beautiful Ocean Springs, Mississippi. The final flight of seven, Maisano's has two bottles in this final. That says a lot about one of the most famous palates in all of bourbon. And I know everybody has seen my flight the whole way through with seven. We couldn't do it, but we can't forget the official sponsor of the Blind Bracket Challenge, Bear Barrel Crafts by Sterling A. Bear, the man. Guys, look at the craftsmanship on this flight, custom stayed flight. You can see where the bourbon went into the barrel, and then the best part, the pop them, don't watch them on the front. You're going to see a lot more of this in the future. Big shout out to the man. I'm telling you the way bourbon is these days, you know, there's a lot of negatives in bourbon right now, but the positives are the people and the friendships you make. And I tell you what, Sterling, that's one of the best ones. The man, the leader of the Louisiana Bourbon Collective. Big shout out to him. But I only have one more question. Are you ready? To all the bourbon fans across the world, let's get ready to rumble! Straight bourbon championship on the line. The contenders are out of region one. The one seed, Smoke Wagon, Rare and Limited, Batch 1 coming in at 118.9. Also out of Region 1, the 3 seed, Four Roses LE 2021, 114.2 proof. That was Mash and Drums, Bourbon of the Year. Let's see how it does in Popham's flight. Out of Region 2, the 1 seed was knocked out. The 2 seed. Russell's Reserve, Maisano's Single Barrel Pick, 11-year, 10-month Russell's Reserve Pick, coming in at 110 proof. And also out of Region 2, Stag Jr., Batch 15, 131.1. That is the highest proof in the final. 
Last year's champion, the 2020 George T. Stagg, could not defend its title this year, but wouldn't that be something if it's little Stagg Jr. picks up the pedestal and gets on 2021 throne and takes the crown and the belt will be interesting to see. Out of Region 3, the champion, sole champion of Region 3, and it was a three seed, the old Carter Bourbon Batch 8 coming in at 116.8. The champion of Region 4, the one seed, E.H. Taylor Battleproof, 127.3. Last year, E.H. Taylor Battleproof 2020 came in third place. Will it move up to the championship this year? We will see. And finally, the one seed and champion of Region 5, the Willett Family Estate Misano's single barrel 10 year bourbon coming in at 118.6. So you see that sweet spot in those, in those um, proofs 118, 116, one, uh, one eight, two 118s, 116, and you have your two monsters with E.H. Taylor barrel proof and Stag Jr. But in a blind, guys, the, the proof does stand out, but it comes down to the flavors, the finishes. The mouth feels, that's what wins you a blind. These are the seven that did that. Nothing else left to say. Nothing else left to do. Let's crown a champion. Going left to right. One through seven. Here we go. Number one. Right off the bat, a sweet, beautiful nose. A little bit of oak, not too much. But just pure honey covered strawberries, tons of powdered sugar. So, one hitting hard championship, they're bringing it. Number one. Wow. That is sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay finish, tons of flavor, strawberries, honey, vanillas, I mean, that is just candy shop bomb. Number two. So it's almost a similar nose, but not as pungent, not as strong. Tons of red bright fruits, sweet vanilla. A little bit of oak, a little bit of fruit, a little flat coming off that first one though. All right, number three. Beautiful oak, chocolate, a little a coffee, like a chocolate espresso, a little, some, maybe some raisins, yeah, some dark fruit. Oh, man, that's a hitter. So three and one so far, three. Oh man, that is just, that's your quintessential bourbon. That, it has everything. That's got good age, great flavors. That's a good one there. Number three is good. Really good. All right, number four. So, picking up some notes, a lot of fruit, but not as heavy as one and three. One and three, those noses were sticking out. Still a great nose, though. It's 
So the palate, though, it's tons of spice, fruit, great balance on number four. This is going to be tough, but we're here. We're in the championship final. You got to be picky. You got to be picky. Little, the, the smallest, slightest thing can knock you out in this final. All right, number five. Man, you see, but that, not a bad finish there on number four. So it lacked in the nose, the palate and the finish made up for. Number five. That is like, I mean, if you took a fresh apple and just cut it open, fresh, fresh, ripe, ripe apple. Not a candy apple, almost like a Granny Smith, because it has a little bit of that sweet, tart, tart apple nose to it. A little bit of melon. This one's got some, it's fruit, but it's, it's different. I don't know what that one could be. So that melon note really came through on the palate. Tons of spice though. Thin on the mouth feel, but the flavors are there. Finish, okay. Flavors are there. Two left, number six. So this is the, the most muted nose so far, number six. I mean, the other ones are bursting out the glass. This one, I'm having to really dig in to pull them. That one's light, but the flavor, man, this is tough because some of these are not hitting on all levels, but the flavors, great flavor on that one. Tons of tons of dry, dark fruit and oak on number six. And you see, then you come to this one now. I mean, just a caramel bomb. Werther's candy. Oh, that is just, <laughs> I mean, that is just melted caramel over an apple. More vanillas coming out. Man, you, this one you got to swirl because it is, it's a lot of sweet noses. Same thing, caramel covered fruit, cinnamon spice. All right, so the first through, number two, is going to get eliminated, was just, did not have it, but whatever it is, seventh place, guys, it, <laughs> can't beat that. All right. So five and six, I have down as possible eliminations. Mm -hmm. Putting them together, that one fought for its spot. Wow, spice and finish coming through. I tell you right now, when I go through that first time and give notes, only take that for the first time. Because when you go back around, you put them against certain ones, you do them in a different order, things change. Because that just fought for itself. All right, 
So, one, so two, and five are out. So these two, I remember being So oh, that's going to be one of these, those two, See if it still wants to. The caramel bomb is not holding up. Going head to head here. Yep. So these four are the ones that stood out. The final four. For the 2001 championship, who is it going to be? Tons of flavor in these glasses. So one had that original oomph that it was the first sip. Had a lot of power to it. Now we're going to see if it can hold it. See, so now it's not, it's not having that big punch as it did as that first sip. Oh, two. That one is just, man, that oak and that coffee, that, like a sweet tobacco note. This is like, you know, smoking a sweet cigar with just coffee and chocolate. Yeah, the, this one. This has the lightest nose, but damn, that palate wants to fight. I love a fight. Fight it out. Yep. Yeah. So on that go around, the original first one is getting eliminated. These two. This has the lightest nose, but the palette and the finish on this son of a bitch. We are down to the final three, baby. We getting lit. We getting excited. We're going to crown a champion. That one's to the final two. It's going to be tough to beat that one. There's going to be no surprises here, I don't think. Any one of these could win it. I mean, you're talking some serious, serious bourbon on this table. Here we go, guys. Let me tell you something. This is... I love this. This is just... It's so easy to put out a list, and I'm not knocking anybody that does that. You know, put out a list, but man, when you sit here and do what I do, I mean, I'm the only one I, I see on YouTube that does it. I created it to put them in a bracket like the NCAA tournament and let them fight their way through to be a one true champion. I love it. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, let's crown the 2021 Bourbon of the Year.
we have a champion. And it's... Guys, I'm going to tell you what. It was close throughout. Whatever this is. In a seven bourbon final flight with all these hitters on the table. This thing stood out from the first sip all the way through. This is your 2021 Popham's Blind Bracket Challenge Bourbon of the Year. Let's see the results. The number seven Bourbon of the Year is... I thought it was going to do a little better. The Four Roses Limited Edition 2021. The three seed out of Region 1. Hey... Number seven of the year. Four roses never do good for me in blinds. They always fall flat. But in its region, it fought through it one. It was number one for Mash and Drum. It's number seven for me. Nothing wrong with that. A great, great bourbon. Number six bourbon of the year. The Maisano's Russell's Reserve. What a showing. Russell's 13? No. Wild Turkey 1? No. The Single Barrel Russell's 11-year, 10-month Maisano's pick. Got through. What a showing. Number 6, Bourbon of the Year. <laughs> Got to be happy with that placing for a Russell's Reserve Single Barrel pick. Unbelievable. We are down to the final five. The number five bourbon of the year. So I said it would mean shockers. I'm a little shocked at this one. The E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof comes in fifth place. That was the one seed out of region four. Blew away its region in this championship final. Comes in fifth place. Place very interesting. So little Stag, the Stag Junior is still alive. E. H. Taylor Barrel Proof number three. Now I do. If you want to go watch my review on this year's, I did it uh, comparing it to last year's. Last year's was, last year's was unbelievable. Wow. Okay. So we're down to the final four. Old Carter Batch 8 Bourbon. What a showing. Out of Region 3, the 3 seed knocked out the 2 and the 1 with ease. Won its region. The Region 3 champion, Batch 8, comes in 4th place. What a showing. Can't go wrong with that. Old Carter Batch 8, number 4. The Stag Jr. is still alive. The number 3. 2021 Bourbon of the Year is the Smoke Wagon Rare and Limited, the one seed out of Region 1. Ladies and gentlemen, we are down to the final two. So let's talk about the final two real quick. Stag Jr. is my number one. Favorite. Now, certain batches, favorite. I think that's Buffalo Trace's best as well. You want to call it a shelf product because it used to be. There was a time where nobody could handle the high proof. It's, it sat on the shelf. I love Stag Jr. It sucks that it's becoming hard to get. Batch 12 is my all-time favorite. But here it is, batch 15 in the final two. Wow. Could it? Keep the stag name alive and be champion of 2021. Who is going to spend the next year in the Heroes and Legends room and wear the championship belt proudly? Ladies and gentlemen, the 2021 Blind Bracket Challenge Bourbon of the Year is The Willet Family Estate Purple Top. The hype is real. Purple Top to the top. The champion of the world, Willet.
Marsano single barrel 10 year pick. The purple top comes out on top. Stag Jr., the runner up, number two, batch 15, guys. If you have batch 15, you got a hitter. What a tournament! The winner, Ocean Springs, Mississippi, little town on the coast of Mississippi, a champion comes out of there. The Real Men Wear Pink campaign, all the funds to cancer research. Jonathan Maisano, what a pick. 2021 Bourbon of the Year. Wow, the will it. So, I've never had a, so, so if you, all y'all start saying, oh, purple towel, well, he's, he, let me tell you something. I've never even in my life, Y'all see the collection I have, all my reviews and everything I do. I have never even sampled True Willet Purple Top before I got this bottle, okay? We did an old Kirk pick, which everybody knows is six-year Willet juice, but that is not this, okay? This was the first Purple Top Willet I've ever tasted. I have ever obviously owned Christmas present from the wife. Here it is. And I'm going to tell you right now, guys, there was no competition. No competition, even in its region. And now in the final, it stood out from, I didn't know exact. I didn't know 100% that was that one. But that profile on it, you know, I'm mad when you have build a, build a player. This is build a bourbon right here. Age, oak, sweetness, balance, finish, nose. It has it all. Has it all, and now it has the gold. The Maisano Single Barrel Willet Family Estate 10-Year Bourbon wins it. The 2021 Bourbon of the Year. Guys, let the comments roll. Tell me what you think. Don't spoil the ending. Just tell me what you think in the comments. The Rye Bracket is underway next week. Still trying to get that Thomas H. Handy to get in that bracket. We're hoping it drops here in Louisiana soon. But until then, what a tournament. Guys, love every one of you. Papa, don't watch them.